Miley Cyrus's When I Look At You is a song that we can definitely learn. It has a very predictable uh, song structure. It follows the verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, out, that most pop songs are sort of based around. It's very straightforward. All right, so if that's, uh, if you know what I'm talking about, cool. Otherwise, don't worry about it. I'm gonna show you what I mean. All right, so the very intro has this part that sounds like this. Okay, and it repeats that again. All right, so that's a little bit tricky, actually. That's probably the hardest part of the song. Um, so the notes that you want to play, I'll show you the notes, and then I'll show you the rhythmic pattern, right? So that's just F sharp, A, F sharp, I'm sorry, F sharp, B, F sharp, A sharp, okay? All right, F sharp, B, F sharp, A sharp, okay? Then you're gonna go F sharp, A sharp, F sharp, G sharp, so these black notes. Okay, and then the last three notes are F, F sharp, D sharp. Okay, so F sharp, B, F sharp, A sharp, F sharp, A sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F, F sharp, D sharp. Okay, so the way you want to think about playing those, uh, those sort of groups of three, so those are all in groups of three. One, two, oh sorry, that's actually four. Last one's in a, a group of three. All right, so the way you want to think about playing those like three parts is like this. Um, you want to count to three and then start over. So one, two, three, two, two, three. So I'm throwing ones and then two. So you're kind of like counting to six, but just say one, two, three, and then two, two, three instead of counting to six, all right? So one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, Okay, so the way you want to count is to, is to play it once, and then once you hit that last note, start counting. Uh, so one, two, three, and then after you get to three, you're gonna play the next part. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So the second time you count to four. All right, so hopefully that's making sense to somebody. <laughs> hopefully that's making sense to everybody. You start playing, and when you hit this um, A sharp, you're gonna count to three. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. So when you hit the G sharp, you count to four. And then you finish, all right? So let me show you all together one more time. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay, so hopefully that'll help you get the intro. Anyway, let's get on to the meat of it, which is the, the verse, um, the verse and the chorus and stuff like that. So the verse sounds like this. Everybody needs inspiration. Everybody needs a song. Sort of like that. So the first, the chords that you need to know, there are mostly four chords that get looped, all right? So you need a D sharp minor. D sharp, A sharp, D sharp in your left hand. F sharp, A sharp, and D sharp in your right hand, okay? Everybody needs inspiration inspiration you move to an F sharp okay so F sharp C sharp F sharp in your left hand A sharp C sharp and F sharp in your right hand uh, I like to throw in this uh, G sharp for uh, to move around but don't worry about that for now all right then you're gonna move to a C sharp everybody needs a song so everybody needs, that's a C sharp. So C sharp, G sharp, C sharp in your left hand, F, G, G sharp, and C sharp in your right hand. Everybody needs a song. Song is B. So B is in your left hand, D sharp, and F sharp in your right hand. Okay, so those four chords, you're gonna loop those again, all right? Fine, but don't worry about that. All right, so after you loop those four chords, um, you're gonna then play an A sharp. Actually, it's an A sharp minor. So that's A sharps in your left hand, C sharp, and F. And then to a B 
B, so B's in your left hand, D sharp, and F sharp. All right, then F sharp, so that's F sharp, C sharp, F sharp with your left hand, A sharp, C sharp, F sharp with your right hand, and then a C sharp, okay? C sharp, G sharp, C sharp, F, G sharp, C sharp. All right, so that's your verse. D sharp, minor, F sharp, C sharp, B. You loop that. A sharp, minor, B, F sharp, C sharp. All right, cool. So that's the verse. That's You're almost halfway there about. Um, and then you're going to move into the chorus, all right? So the chorus sounds like this. Yeah, when my world is falling apart, where the moonlight to break up the dark. Anyway, you know the part that, that goes. Sorry for my awful singing there. Um, well, you're going to play an F sharp to start the chorus. F sharp, C sharp, and F sharp with your left hand. A sharp, C sharp, F sharp in your right hand. Yeah, when my world is falling apart. Falling apart is a C sharp, so C sharp, G sharp, C sharp in your left hand, F, G sharp, C sharp in your right hand. Falling apart where there's no light to break. There's no light, that's a D sharp minor. So D sharp, A sharp, and D sharp in your left hand, F sharp, A sharp, D sharp in your right hand. Break up the dark is a b b b b b b b's in your left hand, D sharp, F sharp, and another B in your right hand. I'm not sure why I said B like I was filled with bubbles, but anyway, that those four chords uh, for the chords you just loop four times. All right, so that's like a loop. I just fancified in case you're or an advanced player and you want to try and copy what I did there for some extra jazzy cool stuff. All right, so that's the chorus. Cool, we're moving really fast here. Uh, next thing you need to know is the bridge, all right? So the bridge sounds like this. Um, wait a minute. Yeah, the bridge sounds like this. movement. That's going to be an F sharp. Um, I'm going to have you play it like this. Uh, A sharps in your left hand, C sharp, and F sharp. Or if you want to just play one of those A sharps, you can play that too with just your thumb. So that's F sharp. Then you're going to go to a B. So that's a B in your left hand, a D sharp, and an F sharp. So that F sharp you can just keep in there. Then you're going to go to a C sharp. So that's C sharp, in your left hand, F and G sharp in your right hand, and then to a D, a D sharp minor. So D sharp, A sharp, D sharp in your left hand, F sharp, A sharp, and if you can reach it, another D sharp. All right, you do that three times. All right, whatever. You do it three times. And then you're going to come back, and the end, the fourth part of the bridge is almost exactly like the part that I just showed you. You just cut off that last D sharp minor. So you just play that F sharp, B, and then C sharp, and you just hold it for a bit longer, right? And then you dive back into the verse, and you dive back into the chorus, and eventually you're going to get to the, the end part. The end part's pretty simple. It's very similar to the bridge part that I just showed you. The only difference is you sort of, well, I'll show you the difference. You play an F sharp first. So that's a sharp, C sharp, and F sharp. Then you play a B, that's B, D sharp, F sharp. You play a C sharp, C sharp, F, G sharp. And then you go back down to the B. B, D sharp, and F sharp. And then that's the end of the song. So um, I know I kind of was a little bit saucy today. I'm not sure why. Uh, maybe I ate something funny for lunch. But I hope this tutorial helped you. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.